Hey everybody, Drew here from Pelicars. Super excited to bring you guys this beautiful 2007 Toyota Prius. It's got 136,102 miles on it and it is in fantastic shape inside, outside, underneath, and mechanically. It does of course have some cosmetic flaws given its age, so I just wanna point those out to you as we walk around the car and take it for a drive and all that stuff. Um, first and foremost, up front, or maybe not foremost, but first anyways, up front, um, as you can see, the paint's in great shape, but as we get closer, you know, there are, like you can see, like this, just the swirls in it from being washed and sitting in the sun for years. Uh, the front bumper does have a couple dings along the bottom, you can see there. Uh, moving to the side here, the wheels, there's some light scratches up here on the fender, by the way. The wheels are peeled. This is not a Rochester car. Um, ironically, this car started its life in Rochester, but we got it from a uh, town in Massachusetts that gets 46% less snow than Rochester and 3% more sunshine. And as I show you underneath the vehicle, you'll see what I mean. It's just not all rusted out. Um, you know, but again, it's not like a Florida or Virginia car either. Tires are in excellent shape. Uh, moving along the side here, there is a ding on the door, and there I am, hello. Um, there's just, you know, some various dings on the door, um, you know, a normal level of dings, but, you know, this color black here shows absolutely everything. There's a dent where they rubbed against something. Um, there's, like, no rust or anything like that, but it is just a dent where they rubbed against something on the rocker panel. Like, if you look from underneath, you can see, and that is where this car would be all rusted out if it was a rusty car, but again, it's not, and we're going to look together in just a moment underneath. Um, so, again, being, you know, 46% less snow, about half the snow, and more sunshine, you can see under there. I'm going to try to give you guys a good shot of, like, the brake lines and all that stuff. You can see them right there so as you see they're not all rusty or anything like that it's just in really wonderful shape for its age uh, again ironically started its life in rochester but moved to massachusetts um, at some point not long after this has a decent amount of fading on it um, this is a, a different kind of plastic and these cars from like super sunny areas like Nevada and stuff They actually get so pitted you can't even uh, Refinish them. This one's a little bit pitted uh, again being exposed to you know less <laughs> Gray skies and rain than Rochester uh, That's pretty common. So um, It's got a little crack in the taillight right here trying to source one of these But there's a good chance I won't be able to by the time it sells So just know that reach out if that's a deal breaker and we could find a way to work through it, but um, you know, it's probably accordingly with its cosmetic flaws like that so um, we'll get a good another really good shot of underneath from here as you can see super super clean and this is the area that would be all rotted out if it was going to so um, this side does not have many flaws there's some dings here uh, let me see if you can get a good shot of those see how my hand kind of waves over them some light things here and again this paint shows everything those are water spots there um, inside very very clean car it has uh, it's it's clean but at the same time it has some flaws that are uh, permanent like I don't know I, I would be inclined to think the person who owned this car was like an artist or something there's I don't know if this is paint or some kind of epoxy I don't know what it is but it won't come off there's some of it here and underneath the mat which is particularly clean underneath um, it didn't come with mats I put these in uh, they do not match the Prius perfectly but they're very nice and uh, they go with the car if you want different ones I can try to accommodate uh, but a nice set of all-weather mats like this that fit uh, particularly well uh, and as you can see underneath here is not very bad at all um, you know considering it's got 136,000 miles on it whatever stained there and on the floor also stained right here and there's a little bit of wear on the top of the wheel uh, coming in the back is where it starts to get a little bit strange they have like this this maroon I think it's paint, I'm not sure. Maroon, purple, a couple gouges in the back of the seat here. Um, headliner's in great shape other than this strange stain in this scrape right here. And then in the way back, there is what I think is perhaps a melted crayon. Not exactly sure, but it's green and you can see that it's like bled into the fibers around it. But, um, but other than that, in absolutely wonderful shape. Um, you know, again, it's, it's not a dirty car. It's not, you know, it's not been smoked in and you can even, it's fair to say they didn't eat much, if at all, in it. Very, very clean car. And mechanically, it's perfect. These cars, a uh, little bit of back story about them. Uh, if you're still in the research stage, these cars,
cars were phenomenal, the 2004 to 2009 Prius. They had a bulletproof gas engine, just a wonderful gas engine, and then instead of a transmission, um, they have what's called a power split device, and it's uh, two electric motors that double as generators, and because it's electricity that moves the car, you don't have to charge this. The gas engine is charging it. It charges itself, and there's a small battery in the trunk that, uh, you know, that provides power when the engine's off. You do not plug this car in, um, but just everything in it is bulletproof. It doesn't have a traditional transmission that shifts. Uh, it does not have a power steering pump. It does not have an alternator. Its air conditioning is electric. It's just inherently uh, more reliable because it lacks so many things that would normally be what wears out. And um, it's built from just really good components. Toyota went all out to prove this car, and they did. The 2004 to 2009 Prius is easily one of the best cars ever made. Uh, we had one traded in from a guy with 424,000 miles on it, and it drove fine. He had one before that. He got up to 861,000 before he totaled. Uh, he was a medical courier. Um, that we're going over some pretty rough road here. This is super common. If I open that, the vibration goes away, as you can see. Um, but these do vibrate. That's a super common thing. Um, I'm going to try to get you guys up to some highway speeds here. Uh, these are, they got a reputation for being slow. I just think that's the way people drive them. I mean, it gets up to highway speed effortlessly. It's not a fast car. I mean, you don't jump in this when you want to go to like Watkins Glen or something, but it's more than powerful enough to drive, you know, in, in any circumstance in the United States, be it, you know, stop and go traffic on a, on a higher speed limit road or the expressway, whatever. We're already going... 60 my hands off the wheel and I'm gonna get on the brakes I'm coming into a curve which is why I'm going over there so that's probably a bad example for braking you could see there was no like shakes or shimmies or anything like that but um, having gone into that curve probably not the best time to show you guys the brakes so we'll get it up to some speed again and do that again um, but again just effortlessly gets up to speed very smooth it doesn't have to shift because again it, it's driven by electromagnetic fields so uh, we're going 53 miles per hour and I'm gonna get on the brakes no shakes no shimmies no pulls just perfect braking um, and just an absolutely wonderful car to drive we've had at least 150 of these over the years and they are absolutely phenomenal. So anyways, I'm Drew. I really hope this video is helpful. If you guys want to buy this car based on what you've seen, you could do so through the website or you could reach out uh, directly to me. My name again is Drew, 585-771-0111. We'd love to meet you in person and have you do a test drive. You can set that up either way. Again, www.pelicars.com or just call me 585-771-0111. And hey, if you liked the video, for just the sake of research or it helped you in your car shopping outside of this specific Prius and, uh, and you want to subscribe, by all means, please do. There are, uh, there's nothing uploaded to this channel other than these video walk-arounds. So if you like them, by all means, again, please do subscribe and consider giving the video a thumbs up. It helps us uh, you know, know what works on YouTube and what does not for our business. So again, thank you so much. Take care and appreciate your time. Bye-bye.